Hi there, so I'm just going to try and show you how to assemble the 9-in-1 full sand playset with the cement mixer, functioning wheelbarrow, shovel, pointed trowel, notch trowel, engineering brick mould, standard brick mould, box to store everything in, um, and a sand strainer if you print the larger of the two boxes, with two box options. So, this is a cement mixer, all the parts you'll need. Um, the the parts for this model, uh, you've got your mixer drum, your mixer drum carrier, your mixer stand, mixer gear drive, mixer rotation handle. This is print in place and there's a, this section here should break away free so it spins around. Mine broke as I, as I took it off the print. If you're as lucky as me otherwise you might just need to agitate a little bit to get it to break free. Then your mixer pivot arm and your mixer pivot arm retaining pins, two STL options. Um, I recommend printing the one with four in it. Um, gives you four different sizes so that you can get them in. You'll see it's a little fiddly, fiddly to install them and it's pretty important to get them a uh, nice and snug fit. So, uh, start off with your gear drive and your drum carrier. And you wanna look, when you print this, it has little supports in here and here, you just pop those out. Um, and there's a little bit of support as well to keep this piece from, from drooping. And you just break those away. They should break away with hands. If not, just gently with a pair of pliers. Um, the gear drive goes through the round hole, not through the hexagon hole. Um, pop that in and then take your drum and insert it into the gear drive. You've got the, the drum here, which uh, should should print without any support. It's got a sort of lattice structure in there to try and help it build up, um, provided that you've got some overhang and you've got a reasonable amount of cooling capabilities in your printer that will print without any support. This tucks into here, and you want to get that underneath the gear there so that, that gear's engaged. Um, and then once that's engaged, you'll see, oh, that bit there goes in and then you're just going to firmly press it in with a click and that's the drum connected to the gear. Um, next we're going to attach that to the stand and your gear goes through the hole that doesn't have the the uh, pivot arm slots in it, the, the, the rings to hold it in. So you're just going to want to fit that through there like that and then take your pivot arm now I recommend putting this, you, you can put it in almost any orientation of the hexagons that fit, but um, if you put it like this so that you've got your drum outlet there with the pivot hand opposite, um, it makes it just fractionally easier to put inside the box, so then I recommend it. Now the next piece we're going to do is the um, retaining pin of the four sizes. It's important to get this a snug fit or this bit wobbles loose and, and the, the drum doesn't stay still, um, but as you can see it's quite a quite a snug fit in there. Um, I recommend probably trying with some little fine nose pliers if you have them. It is it is possible, I've got it in with my fingers, but certainly for the video I'm going to try with the pliers. Um, and what you want to do is to hold that in there, get that as best as you can. So i try and get this so you can see what I'm doing into that hole there. Try not to lose the pin. Could be worth having someone to help. Um, there's a flat side which you want to get against, against the flat piece. Slot that into there like that and just push it firmly home. Oh. Now this is where, conceivably, you might want to use one of the smaller pins, but I think if I squeeze this it'll go in, and as I said, you do want it to be a nice snug fit. There we go. Um, and that gives you... That snug fit is what allows that, when you're trying to turn this, not not to jump out. Um, as I said, it's conceivable then that you might use the one of the three smaller pins. If you do use the smaller pins and then later on you find that it's jumping out, then obviously you probably lost the smaller pins, but print some more and then put a tighter one in. And then all we have to do now is connect the drum turning handle, and that goes on. You'll see there's an orientation for that, so it's a hexagon again, 
um, and you just need to gently position that in any orientation and then that will pop back out and there you have your functioning sand pit mixer okay moving on to the wheelbarrow the wheelbarrow consists of three parts the wheelbarrow body which like i said i i suggest printing with a brim here you can see here i've just i need to do a little bit of sanding but that printed with a brim um, there's also some supports so it prints like that and there's supports in here and in the holes um, and just to help on this this very bottom part or you can uh, leave the supports off on this model and just let your slicer do the work assembly is pretty simple got your wheel choose the orientation you want it and then take your pin and push it through the hole it might be a little bit stiff I'll pop through the other side open back up again and you have a wheelbarrow to go with your cement that's um, next up the shovel um, bear in mind these aren't all to scale they're more of a practical as best as I could scale um, this is really simple it prints like that if you have bed adhesion issues you might want to print with a brim but mine prints fine you take this, make sure that the uh, um, the slight curve of the handle is on the back, so like that, um, and then insert it. I think it's probably worth putting a bit of glue on there because it will come out. So a bit of uh, super glue, a bit of CA glue will um, will make sure that stays in there, nice and strong. Um, next up, we have the notch trowel, two parts, the blade and the handle and this simply just I try to show you a better view just clicks in like that and then it's pretty firm um, it is possible to remove it but you probably want to bend the tangs back to remove it um, then the pointed trowel um, and this is very similar it's the same it's the same attachment and it just clicks in and then it's in there pretty firm um, after that obviously no assembly required, the two sand brick moulds. Um, then we have the smaller of the two boxes. Uh, I'll just show you how the parts go in, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, one brick there, one brick there, pointed trowel there, and notch trowel there. And that's it, somewhere to store just your sand mould set. And then finally, the larger sand mould with the with the um, strainer in it. This is a slightly earlier um, uh, prototype, but um, it has the same sim similar assembly instructions. So um, your standard brick goes, oh, sorry, start with your notch trowel goes in there. Your standard brick goes on that one there, although it will fit on either. Your engineering brick with the holes in it goes on that one there, where you can see the holes. Um, next up, we have your cement mixer which is why i said if you put that on at the back then it fits in there nicely then we have on this model not the one that you'll download um the shovel is different but the wheelbarrow in there like that and then on this model the shovel goes this way but in the one that you'll print and download the shovel lays down like that slotted in um, and then the pointed trowel goes in there like that and there you have your uh, nine in one sand playset. Enjoy.